In this video, we're going to see how we can use the Agent Layering node to assign objects to our agents, some hand axes and crowbars to be exact. So for our starting scene, we have the hand axe and crowbar geos. Let's dive inside each and take a look. We have our .bgo file, a transform node, and an output node. The transform node lets us rotate, position, and rescale our hand axe to match the rotation, position, and scale of a specific agent joint. And the output node is just our null object to point stuff to. The same setup goes for the crowbar geo. So let's start by putting down a mocap biped. I'm going to use texture number 6. And let's see his little walk. We're going to bake out his walk cycle. Go to the crowd chef's head and click on Bake Agent. Follow the prompts. And his walk cycle is baked. Let's arrange the notes nicer. And we'll set up his collision layers and configure joints before we go on. Now we're going to drop down an agent layer. I'm actually going to just drop it behind the agent prep node and bypass that. And in the agent layer node, we're going to enable source layer, which tells Houdini to use an existing layer as the starting point for this new layer we are making. Let's name the layer. and create a new layer binding. Check off Add Shape, and let's find that crowbar output node. Give it a meaningful shape name, and check out that crowbar in his head. We'll put it in a better place, like his right hand. Nice. So let's make our second layer binding for the hand axe. This time we'll locate the hand axe output node. and give it another meaningful name. We'll change the position of the hand axe to the left hand. And our guy is ready to work. Let's make a crowd of them. Go back up to object level, click on populate, and follow the prompts. So probably we just need about 200 of these guys. And we'll pack them into a smaller area size. Go back up to object level, and let's give them some textures. Hit Ctrl and B to expand the window. And we need to click on Simulate so that Houdini will create our crowd network for us. We'll just change the default state to Walk. Type in Walk. And let's see what we get. There they are with Ragdoll Activation. So with agent layering, you can easily assign geometry to your agents, which you can then randomize and position into your crowd scene inside Houdini.